Now, uh, Bunford and Sons. Yes. Uh, that's Sanford and Sons and not Mumford and Sons, just to be clear. Mm-hmm. Just to be clear here. I would like to start off this week's show, as I have done oh so many times before. I want to once again talk about racist flies. Racist flies. Racist flies. It's the end of August, which is always fly season here, so we have a lot of fucking flies around. Well, Bunny, flies are all racist. I can tell. And you're probably unaware of this, of the severity of, of, of all the flies being inherently racist due to your position in society as a white male oppressor. Yes. I was really happy to be calling you a white male oppressor. But flies are racist, and here's why. This is what happens. There's a group of white people, and there's a fly, and the fly's like, ah, oh, some some white people. Maybe I'll bug them a little bit. Just bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, no. I, it, it's just not fun bugging white people. If only there was a minority, and then like a, like a, a minority walks in, and the fly's like, well, hot damn! And then just goes and starts bugging the crap out of that minority and this happens to me all the time yeah. and it's like god damn it fly no, why see, are you bugging just me because you are racist Mexican. yeah exactly right. exactly that's that's what all of the white people are thinking it's it flies are racist and i'm not sure if everybody yeah. knows this but everybody should know this flies are racist maxwell yes yeah get your shoes and put them where they're supposed to be because we had the hardest time this morning remember that so flies are racist Racist flies. ass flies. Racist flies. Yeah. Racist flies. Yeah. All flies are racist. 